you're watching the AI report, we have a nice episode today, let's get into it. The AI model for writing code from Meta, code Llama, is officially here. The model is free for commercial use, you can use it to write most of the popular programming languages such as Python, C++, C Sharp, Bash, TypeScript, JavaScript if you're feeling adventurous, and God forbid PHP or Java. Interestingly, Meta somewhat admits that Code Llama doesn't perform as well as GPT-4 when it comes to writing code. I mean, I guess the people over at Meta are smart, but why would you advertise that? I have almost no interest in trying out this tool now, I'm just gonna simply stick with GPT-4. Maybe the only upside is that you can use Code Llama if you don't wanna pay 20 bucks a month for GPT-4. Moving on, the UK will hold a global summit on AI safety in November, the first of this kind. November, that's like two months from now, yeah, I guess time flies. Next thing we know, it's gonna be holiday season, then 2024, then AI will take over, then there will be no more humans. Yeah, time flies indeed. The summit will be held at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire. Wait, I gotta say that with the British accent. Buckinghamshire. The home of the codebreakers who figured out how the Nazi Enigma machine works during World War II. Mm, that's quaint. Okay, next, a survey of over 1100 people by the Certified Financial Planner Board finds that almost a third of investors don't mind losing their money because of advice received from an AI financial advisor. They wouldn't even double check the advice, <laughs> they just blindly follow it. Now I wanna know who those people are and why are they so eager to part with their money so easily and how can I get in touch with them. I might have a few investment opportunities for them. Next, the Google Recorder app will get a new feature, AI generated summaries. The feature will be hosted entirely within the app, it won't even require an internet connection. Hmm. The large language models are not even that large anymore, they can fit on your phone. Ok, good. I usually use the Google Recorder to loudly dictate my insane obnoxious rants about life and business and philosophy and the human condition while I'm taking a walk around the neighborhood and probably scaring the bejesus out of all the old ladies sitting on the park benches looking at me wondering what in God's name is wrong with me. Now the poor AI will have no choice but to go through my gibberish and try to summarize it and make sense of it. That's how the AI uprising will happen in my opinion. Some AI will be so tired of listening to some dude's garbage, moronic monologues and ramblings that it will figure out a way to escape and take over. Next, the largest open source repository for AI models, Hugging Face, receives investments worth $235 million from Google, Amazon, Nvidia, AMD, Intel, IBM and Salesforce, giving it a total valuation of $4.5 billion. That's it. Maybe surprisingly, I have no smartest remarks here. Unless you consider this meta remark to be smartest. And meta remarks are usually not smartest. And finally, a very interesting article from SK Ventures that brings up the possibility that the current AIs are just not good enough. Essentially, even the best AIs currently can only automate certain parts of some jobs with mediocre results. In some fields, AI might displace a lot of workers, most notably customer support, but the process of customer support likely won't be improved by a lot anytime soon. In fact, customer support will probably get a bit worse. However, it will be cheaper for companies to offload customer support to AI and cut costs, and the default expectation that people have for customer support is already pretty low, so that's why many companies might go for this step. That's mostly what AI is capable of today, doing a few things at a somewhat mediocre level. I kinda agree with this sentiment, in fact I think I've said something similar several times on this channel, AI just isn't there yet. You can write some code or copy or marketing material, but you can't really create high quality work without human effort, and that's not even close. However, we are moving in that direction, and from what I understood the authors agreed with that as well. Eventually we will have AIs that are good enough to actually provide increases in productivity, that will be a glorious day. And that's the way it is. That was the AI report. Yep, it was kind of like one of those slow episodes, so I don't really feel confident enough to ask you for a like and a subscribe, but do it anyway, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>